What's up, Erdub Nation? Sorry I'm late. Game has already started. Um, let me get the link, even though I know that most of you uh, don't have access. Hear about that. I'm getting a little feedback. Oh, uh, I got to turn that off. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, um, let me see. I need to put the link somewhere. Put it on Discord. Log in. Oh, crap. Well, it's uh, game 86155. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. So I'm joining the game late, um, but um, Dominican Republic is down 4-0, but um, the coach called a quick timeout, and uh, one of their guys was injured, and um, I wasn't watching. I just listened to the play-by-play. -play. Um, anyways, um, they, they get a corner three off after the buzzer, so they've just committed a um, – Shot clock violation down 4 0 to Italy. But, anyways, um, www courtside. I'm just going to have to manually type this in. How's it going, Catherine? Game 86155. That is the link, but you have to pay for it. So, I know that it's basically useless for most of you. Italy's. Uh, Italy star, Simon Fontencio. I know I just pronounced that horribly wrong, but um, he is in the NBA. Um, probably their best player. I think that was Lester just launched a three, no good. And that's that's kind of been the problem with Lester is that um, he uh, tends to rush some shots. And then Fontencio. No, it's Melly. Oh, Melly, Melly's baller as well. Italy's good. They've got some NBA players. Cat shoots a three to try and break the drought. 8-0. They're getting skunked with 7.45 to go. Um, Melly's a baller too. So they got a lot of good players. Italy does. And this guy drives in to make a 10-0. Um, their big man, oh, Melly again, just goes in there and uh, we'll profile him in a second, pull him up on the back screen, which I haven't shared yet. 10 0. Cat's going to shoot a three. No good. They just kind of rush their shots. And then there's another layup. They got to call timeout. 12 0. God. Spisu this time hits the uh, layup. Um, but uh, Lester is the reason why I wanted to do this live, plus the fact that it's 1 a.m., not 4 a.m. or 5.30 a.m., which is way too early for me. And um, today, right now, is 1 a.m. instead of 4.30 or 5.30 or 5 a.m., so I'd rather... Um, be on right now a lot easier for me to stay late to 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. rather than even later. Hold on, let me type in some stuff in the description. Um, so Literally two minutes after the timeout, they are there now down 12 zip, getting skunked. So no one's playing well. Oh, and, and check that out. The coach just went to Quinones and put his hands on his shoulders. Wow. To like just say, don't worry about it or whatever. I mean, I'm speculating. I don't know what he really said, but oh, wow. Quinones at the bench getting consolation from the coach. They haven't really been paying too much attention. My bad. Man, they start the game, these games on time. I've got to pay attention. But 
I think he brought out, he subbed out uh, Quinones. Two hands on his shoulders. Interesting. Wow. But um, they get an and one. And now there's another guy on the bench um, giving uh, Lester some uh, encouragement. Wow. So that was uh, Feliz got a and one. I like Feliz. He's like a miniature Jew, Joe Dumars. Just with a bulky, bulky frame. And uh, I predicted this would be a bounce back game for Lester. So far, incorrect. He's on the bench. Can't have a bounce back when you're on the bench. Um, Italy's power forward in and out on the runner. DR tries to push the ball up. Cat doing some pick and roll. Now he gets it up top. They double him, so he finds Felice. Not a smart double. You don't double off Felice, um, even though the chances of uh, Cat scoring are typically higher. So I, I kind of understand the double team, but then again, it's like they forgot the uh, scattering part of Feliz. He can drill those. He's like, like I said, um, homeless man's uh, Joe Dumars. But as far as Warriors fans are concerned, hmm, not the best start for Lester again. He started out 0 for 3 last game, and the coach lost confidence in, in him then and and you're just when you're a young player and a new player it's hard because these guys are veterans he's he's a, a youngster among among men so uh, you know veterans cat with a travel from up top wow and you know cat's been on this team he's played for dominican ever since he was a teenager so he's got He's got the seniority as well as the talent. Lester has the talent, um, doesn't quite have the IQ, and does not have the seniority. Oh, great defense by Feliz in terms of that's what you got to do when, when you're a veteran defender against Italy, even though that could have been a foul. So he he recovered. I guess my Dumars uh, – my Dumars comparison is, is actually coming true. Great defense by Feliz there to recover and smother the drive. Um, now a post up for the, uh, the big man. I forgot his name, of uh, Dominican. He missed it, and then Italy comes down, turns the ball over. Okay, so um, let me let me pull up the back screen here. Let's get a box score up. I got I to gotta know to uh, log into these lives um, more on time because – they don't skip a beat. They're not like the NBA or dilly dally. They start on time, <laughs> especially when they got three games or three or four games in the same arena. They got to make sure everything runs smoothly. So somewhere here is a there's Italy Dominican. Let's go to the box score here. So Dominican misses a three. They're down 12-6, so six unanswered. But Italy shoots a three, misses it. Box score. There we go. There's Melly. Nicolo Melly. Forgot what team he plays for, but anyways. Hey, Lester's back in. Okay, good thing I checked the box score. Put him back in, and he promptly gets swallowed, swatted by Melly. Whoops. Uh, oh, Lester. 
the struggles, the struggles continue. Um, you, you just got to know who's on you. You, you got to know when they're big, Melly's probably 6'10 minimum, you know, just got to know that. Now he runs right into a screen, good screen, but they missed the three. And Cat gets another rebound. Ball's in the right corner. Try to go back up top to Cat, but it gets deflected out of bounds. So Cat has three rebounds already in uh, six minutes of play. We got timeout Italy. So... 12 6 with uh, 344 Q1. And I gotta, coming late to the stream, everything's uh, getting a little behind on the, the conveyor belt, just like uh, the old Charlie Chaplin bit with the cakes on the conveyor belt. So good to see you guys. Hope RJ's here. Where can you watch the game? Well, you can't unless you pay for it. Um, so if you can't pay for it, which here's the link. It's it's in the uh, comments, which I will now pin. Um, then you got to rely on my play-by-play. -play. But we're here primarily... For Lester Quinones, supporting him, hoping he plays better. And um, again, mainly because um, I'm not going to be live streaming, live, live streaming any more games for a while because USA is going to play at four in the morning, one in the morning, and stuff like that. And uh, they're, they're going to play Angola at one in the morning and it's it's just i'm not gonna wake up for that <laughs> they're gonna kill those teams lester misses a long three it, it's just it's not a good shot lester but he's learning i get it but it's really not coming within the flow of the offense it's just let me see if I can get hot. Let me see if I can light a little bit of a torch to our stagnant offense, which is down 12-6. Let's not even look at Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, come on. At least go to Cat first. So Italy will take a fadeaway, and I think that's Melly once again in the action. Man, this guy's everywhere. Nicolo Melli. Let's look him up real quick. Here we go. Hoops hype. What's going on here? Hoops hype.com. Nicolo Melli. They got another Nicolo, Nico Mannion. He's not playing. Um, I, I think it was the fact that he hadn't played with the national team for a little bit, or maybe there was an injury or something like that, and there was no consistency. Lester, good help on uh, Simon. And he airballs it then, Simon Fontecchio. Airballed it. So Dominican brings it up. Cat gets fouled, although Melly wanted a charge. But he, uh, no, no, it wasn't Melly. It was the other guy. The other big tried to take a charge on Cat, but it was just a split second too late. So it'll be side out. 258 to go, first quarter. Italy up by six. Let's look at Niccolo Melly. One C Nicolo six nine. We'll look at that in a sec. Go back to the box score. Cat gets the ball in the corner, fakes the three, gets doubled. 
And wow, the DR, um, I've got his name, Montero. Montero gets an and one in terms of the whistle was called. They called a technical on the on, I believe, the Italy coach for probably the non-charge call against Cat. He made the shot, then they whistled the tech. <laughs> Italy ref is furious. I wonder what language he's talking to the ref in because everybody's international. Uh, unless the ref is Italian, I doubt it. So Cat's going to be at the line. Nobody's there to rebound because it's technical. He hits it. Only a one-shot technical. I think it's on the coach. But that's a three-point play. And I wonder, did they get the ball back? Is uh, technical and FIBA point of interruption or or what is it? No. Yeah, yeah, it is point of interruption. So it's Italy ball. They bring it up. Lester's trying to guard the post against the bigger player. Does a pretty good job, actually. 2.30 to go. Pretty good job. But then the big scores with the really nice up and under play that was Ricci. He's guarding a guy way taller than him. Cat misses a three. Ricci's six seven. So unfortunately, Lester had to guard a six seven guy in the post. But they've got a big team. They got Melly at 6'9, Ricci at 6'7. Um, so Kat's got to guard Melly. And somehow that left Lester. So they just brought in another big after that. So lesson learned by the DR. They brought in uh, Vargas. Big man Vargas, number 11. Now they're getting pressured. Find uh, LJ Figaro in the corner, misses it. Former Santa Cruz Warrior who had the key blocked from behind on Jordan Clarkson two nights ago to pretty much seal the deal on that one. And I, I kind of heavily criticized Jordan Clarkson the other night for that play because he could have had a layup tried to do the dunk, and then LJ with his long arms. Uh, Cat just disrupted a shot. LJ bringing it up. Fast break, no good. Kind of a wild shot. Just couldn't get his feet stepping in the right Euro step for LJ there. So Italy will slowly work their half-court offense. 120, 119, 118 to go. Melly finds the wing who travels, no call, and he ends up hitting a three on Cat. That was a travel. He caught the ball, then he moved his pivot foot to make a move on Cat, which faked Cat out. So that's another reason it should have been a lock, but DR doesn't get the benefit there. Cat attacks as he usually does. He's a freight train sometimes out there out of control. And uh, two passes later, they find the uh, Montero in the left corner for three, DR only down by five. Oh, now there's another technical called on the head coach of Italy is going berserk. I wonder who they called it on. They, the other Italian coaches go huddle around him to calm him down, but let's check the play-by-play -play to <laughs> see who really got the call. Let's see. Um, just a general technical foul. Coach, what was the other technical on? Is, is that two techs on the coach? Bench. So they called one on the bench and one on the coach. So the coach gets to stay. He's arguing right now still. Cap made a free throw, or he's about to. We saw it in the play-by-play -play already, which is a little bit faster than my stream. 
This is going to be 17-13 with 42 seconds left. And uh, it's going to be um, Dominican ball. So Cat has only two points, zero field goals. Those two free throws, the only points for the DR. I think for the DR to win this game would be an upset. I think Italy is probably the better team, probably the more experienced team, and uh, haven't checked the rankings late, lately, but probably ranked higher. Lester Quinones foul on the ground. The problem with that is that they're in the penalty. So Lester continuing to make really young mistakes. Um, oh my bad. It isn't it isn't penalty yet. So he had one to give, so I take it back. Not not foul in the world. And then he, he gets picked and then his man hits a jumper. Twenty two seconds left. High pick and roll from Montero and Cat. Here we go with 12, 11. Cat gets the ball. Nine, eight, seven. They're kind of playing him zone. Cat just launches from 35 feet. No good. Vargas miraculously gets the rebound, misses it at the buzzer, and uh, Italy will go up 19 13 at the end of one. Um, Lester is no points 0 for 3 again one foul well I hope he snaps out of it and can start making a difference for for his Dominican Republic team. But then again, Lester's kind of, you know, young player and uh, kind of he, he's not so talented or so athletic that he can, you know, demand the ball every time. He can't do that. So, um, and he doesn't really have the experience so it is what it is. Um, he might be uh, slumping a little bit, but he'll just have to figure his way out of it. As I try to uh, tweet out the link here, at least I already got this up on um, Instagram. For the 10 of you here with me. Oh, really early in the morning. Actually, so Feliz leads the team with six points. He's got a couple threes, though. That's why Montero playing pretty well. And... Um, Cat with two points. Cat's going to sit, apparently, here. Also sitting is our guy, Lester. And so... Actually, Dominican Republic is ranked 10th, I believe. Let's do the FIBA rankings. Is this up to date? No, February. Okay, so as of February... Dominican was 23rd. Italy was 10th. Look at Iran was ahead of Dominican. I'm shocked by that, but kind of old. February. Let's go back to the box score. All right. Um, Italy hits a jumper. Catch and shoot. 21-13. Italy, no cat, no Lester both on the bench for Dominican Republic, but LJ Figueroa is in there. I'll do a little light play-by-play. 
LJ baseline to number zero, Pena, I believe. Yeah, Pena. I'm getting to know the Dominican players a little bit more these days, having done like five live streams of them so far. Or is it four? Four or five. And Italy will drive, and it's good defense by Montero. Steal. He brings it up. It's three on three. Kicks it out to Feliz. Baby Joe Dumars hits the three. So uh, 8.47 to go in these 10-minute quarters, and second quarter we're in, and uh, Italy up by five. Italy very patient on offense, which is uh, a sign of a well-coached team with veterans. They miss a three, and they hustle to get the offensive rebound. LJ there trying to play some smothering defense. He's a good defender. They go pick and roll. They switch and uh, miss. And uh, Vargas couldn't handle the rebound, and so Montero will get the st st uh, statistic of the rebound on that one. Anyway. Montero swings it, LJ, one more, Pena, good drive and kicks, and they find Feliz in the corner for three late in the shot clock. That guy's on fire. Without him, they'd be in trouble tonight, but now it's 21-19, Italy only up by two. They're trying to go pick and roll a million times, and they get the bucket there as uh, it was a... Uh, Pretty hard screen on Montero, fell to the ground, and it became five on four. Now DR will run pick and roll. Swing to Pena, who almost walks back to baby Dumars. Feliz, nothing doing. Back to Feliz, another three. He hits. That's his fourth three of the game. No, his fifth. His 15 points, all on threes. And he's carrying the Dominican team. Only down one. And uh, they do a little backdoor play. Italy does. And uh, Vargas fouls them. Fouls the big man. So they've got, they've got some good ball movement. Italy does. Really good patience. They're a problem. They're a problem. The, what they're lacking, though, is um, athleticism and speed. But they'll hang with any team, it seems like, you know, especially when you've got Melly and Simon Fontecchio, who are, you know, prototypical European power forwards. 6.56 to go, Italy up two. And uh, let me see if they sub subbed in anybody. Nope. So DR is going to stick with their guys. Cat is on the bench. Quinones is on the bench. Feliz brings it up. Finds LJ down low, and he gets swatted. Another swat by Melly. How many blocks do they have? Italy's got a lot of good power forwards. Two blocks already. No, that's DR. I'm sorry. Two blocks. Two of them by Melly. Nicolo Melli, he is on the – what team is he on again? Um, let me see. What team was he on? Uh, Mavericks. Two years ago, he was on the Mavericks. So he, he does have... What is it, the Pelicans? Mark Followell. These are Dallas beat writers. To the Pelicans for... Yeah, so Nicolo Melli last played for the Mavericks. 
they have so many good power forwards. Italy does. One guy just did a turnaround jump shot on the baseline. Good. Cat came back in the game. Um, Feliz gets – no, not Feliz. Uh, Pena gets manhandled by Melly. So that's a foul on Melly. And uh, DR down by five as Cat has come back in with 6.25 to go. It's going to be side out. This game is in Jakarta, Indonesia, by the way. No, it's not. Dominican played the Philippines. It's in Manila. My bad. Um, who's in Jakarta? Brazil is in Jakarta. I don't know why I thought of that. Maybe Guy Santos, who's playing but not playing. He's on the Brazilian team, just not getting any minutes. Uh, nothing doing again. Stagnant offense. Feliz had a pop a 30-footer. No good. So now it'll be Melly directing traffic. Finds the postman. He's already shown he can do a turnaround. Does a fadeaway. It's good. And they got nobody to guard him. I mean, they got number four guarding a uh, you know, six nine guy. Number four is so Solano. Haven't even seen him play. DR misses a three. This is going to be a tough one for the DR to pull out. I mean, they're just getting manhandled. Now a post-up foul on Montero as he's given up five, six inches to Datomi. Datome, Datomi. Luigi. Datomi is... Six eight, their whole front line, their whole team is like six seven, six eight, six nine. All these power forward types. Simon Fonticcio back in the game, and they shoot another jumper, and Cat draws a foul and a rebound at the same time. Does, does he get credit for the rebound? Let's check. Foul drawn. No. Usually you don't get both a rebound and a, and a foul. I used to do. I used to give rebounds when I kept stats for my league just for the hell of it. Give them a, you know, a hustle step. Now Cat gets the catch, drives in, foul, bucket good. He'll go to the line. They're down five. Can make it down four. And, uh, oops, get rid of that score. And uh, cat to the line. Let's see if Lester subs in or not. Oh, excuse me. Currently 1.36 in the morning over here. Five fourteen to go. Lester still on the bench. Free throw's no good. Italy brings it up. Their point guard's probably six, 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 seven. <laughs> Look at their whole their five guys are all six, seven, six, eight, six, nine. Gosh. It's a huge size advantage for for Italy. And but number four, um Solano. Uh, did a good job of knocking the ball off of the Italy big man. They're all big men. Six seven, six eight, six nine. Now they bring in number zero, who looks like a point guard. That is Marco Spisu. Check his height. Six feet. Yep. Oh, Montero blows by everybody. Nice play. Wow. If he can keep doing that, I haven't been seeing him do that. But good job. Now Pena, too much physicality. Foul. Way out there. That'll, that'll put him in the penalty from this point forward with 4.33 to go. 
not a good time to waste the uh, foul to give there. So now both teams in bonus. Quinones relegated to the bench, basically. Just hasn't gotten it going. And that's the thing with the young players these days, you know. They have a hard time figuring out when to shoot, when to dribble, when to pass. And if you're not hitting your shot, then you're probably not going to play much. Uh, Pena looked away and lost his man and then ended up fouling the big man that his man that got the ball. And so a couple of bad plays by Pena in a row right there. And Italy goes to the line up three points with 426 to go. Lefty big man, another big man on the floor. Number 39, I thought it was. There is no 39. Got to be 33. Yeah, 33. I read the number one wrong. 6-9. Interesting how they built this team. Everyone is 6-9, 6-8, 6-7. It's crazy. They all look the same, too. Montero with an excellent drive, but then another 6'9 guy comes over to help, and they all look like they're, you know, bouncers in a club, too. <laughs> all these huge dudes. Good Lord, it's Italy's a big team. It's just that they don't have any monsters. Like, Cat is still the biggest guy. Anyways, they get the ball to uh forgot his name Mendoza is it and he misses a three no that was Lee's and then Fontaccio gets an and one and we know Fontaccio's a baller Simone Fontaccio Let's look him up real quick. Hoopshype.com, Simone Fontecchio. Utah Jazz. Baller. You're in the NBA, you're a baller. One of the, uh, well, we got a timeout. One of the trending uh, things. Uh, no, no timeout. Dominican's ball. Uh, one of the trending things on Instagram these days is um, um, now I lost my train of thought is uh, how there's only been 5,000 NBA players in the history of the NBA. Oh, um, Feliz assist to Lees. You got Feliz and Lees in the backcourt. Man, I told you, man, Feliz is like poor man's Joe Dumars. He's been playing well. Italy misses. Montero brings it up. How many rebounds for Montero? Not bad. I mean, he's a skinny guy. Good tip by number 12. Out to Cat for three. Good. Big man is uh, Delgado. Angel Delgado. OG. You can see him lumbering out there. But anyways, Cat gets a three. Thanks to the offensive rebound. And DR is only down three. Back out to the point guard, Spisu. He'll shoot a three. Late shot clock. It's good. Mm. They needed to stop right there, but they didn't get it. So Italy's back up by six. Cat's in there, but Lester's on the bench. Struggle City. Back out to Lees. Loses the ball, but it bounces off Italy. Got lucky. I believe we'll take a timeout. 37 31 Italy. Let me write that. Write that down in the comments. There you go. Whoa, no timeout. I'm sorry. Cat draws another foul. 
oh my gosh, they called another tech on Italy for arguing. That's that's how you get into their heads is you just get the FIBA refs to make those questionable calls and just let Italy argue and then it'll be a tech. Tech. The head coach is going berserk again in terms of like, who the hell was that call on? <laughs> Head coach threw his jacket, I think. He's he's jacketless right now. Let's check the play by play to see who the technical was on. On the bench again. Is is the bench now um ejected? I I see why Italy was upset. The replay kind of shows cat out of control. He's usually, he usually looks like he's out of control when he drives. So they wanted a charge. But that's Cat for you. He's always aggressive. Um, and he's going he's gonna to dribble himself into trouble sometimes. But he's such a force. Oh, so they just ejected the, uh, the coach of Italy. Damn. And he did a cool thing. He went over and hugged the uh, Dominican Republic's coach and dapped up some of the guys on the bench of Dominican Republic because it was on the way to the locker room. Sucks, man, being the coach and then they eject you. He's going nuts right now. and He's just yelling, as you would expect an Italian to do, pointing his finger at, at probably uh, FIBA staff and executives. Uh, I, I don't think you should, you, you got to really cross a line to get ejected in my opinion. And I just, you hate to see that. And how many tech free throws is that for them now? At least three. And the DR only down by three after the two free throws by Cat. Spisu, the point guard, six foot point guard misses. Cat, another rebound. Six rebounds for Cat. So we got 153 to go. Feliz, ah, that ball sailed. Corner three sailed. But Italy throws the ball away. And then they foul a guy as they try to reach for the ball. Foul Montero. They're in the penalty, so Montero is going to get two free throws. The Italy head coach is still walking around in the back. I guess he's going to go have a seat somewhere. I wonder if he gets the watch from the corner. That would not be equivalent to the NBA's role. You got you to gotta completely leave the stands if you're ejected in the NBA. Anyways, that, that was a tech on, uh, not a tech, a foul on Fontecchio as he lunged for the ball and hit Montero. So Montero makes both free throws in the penalty and Dominican Republic only down by one. You wouldn't have thought it just from the feel of the game and just the pace but um, Dominican Republic, only a one-point deficit. Italy works the ball around. You got Simon against Cat, uh, but uh, no, I'm sorry. Simon actually, Simone, Fontecchio, Italy's best player, misses a three. Montero, left side up to Cat. They always got th three sets of eyes on Cat. So Dominican has to attack from the corner and Lees gets a, gets a bucket. Could have been an and one. Gives Dominican the lead. Italy calls timeout, at least the interim head coach right now. So Dominican Republic, 38-37, with 110 to go. 
Wow. Be huge for them to win this one. They'd be in full control of the, the group. Who else is in their group? Let's take a look. Even up basketball, World Cup, and you look at the groups. DOM, Angola. Okay. Yeah, this is the biggest game of this one. Let's look at some of these other ones. Oh, you know what? We got um, Australia versus Germany. Another, you know, headliner type game happening before the end of this one. I'm going to watch that, but I'm probably not going to uh, do any play-by-play -play or anything. But that's, if I can stay awake... Uh, watching Josh Giddy um, be floor general for the Aussies. That's fun to watch. The other team that's really fun to watch, Canada. Shea Gilgis Alexander, point guard scorer. Wow, he was incredible. I managed to watch him dominate France in the third quarter. He just dribble, spin with ease. You know who he reminds me of in terms of the way that he carries himself and the way that he's so smooth? Anthony Hardaway. I wonder if anybody's made that comparison. Simone Fontecchio gets the step. Bye-bye. Dunk. Utah Jazz power forward. So now Italy's up by one, 43 seconds to go. Cat launches a three from the logo, no good. I guess he was going two for one. So Italy, with 31 seconds left, finds one of their big men, Ricci, misses a fadeaway. They love those mid-ranges. Cat rebound, his seventh rebound, I believe, of the half. Really good rebounding quarter for a uh, cat. They're going to slow the pace down. Try not to look at the box score because uh, you can tell that they've already ended the, in the half. One second on the shot clock. Oh, in and out from three, Montero. So Italy will take a one-point lead in the halftime, which, uh, you know, Dominican Republic will gladly take any day. Only down one. Um, what can we talk about at halftime? I'm starting to get very sleepy here. It's 1.51 a.m. Um, let me take a look at my Twitter. Let's see what's up. All right, let's take a look at my uh, my Twitter stream. Um, looks like Patty Mills is going off right now for Australia. I think that game started a half hour after hours. So Patty Mills is going off currently. Uh, there's a um, Dominican Republic official Twitter account showing them dancing in the locker room. I'm trying to see if Lester's dancing at all. Nope. Don't really see it. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, excuse me. Meanwhile, uh, Clay Thompson is in China. We have a whole, check this out. We have a whole video of him. So go check that out because it's some good stuff if I do say so myself. China Clay. Back in full force. This is some uh, remnant video to start out with. But then it'll get into him on the plane, him um, doing some promo clips for Anta. Um, and then I'll just leave it on in the background here. Uh, here. And um, meanwhile, I'll keep checking my Twitter feed for... Any notable Warriors news? Uh, I don't see a whole lot going on in my Twitter feed. Um, one other thing you can try. Some of the recent news of the Warriors. So, uh, let's see. Uh, on court net rating Steph Curry plus eight. Um, I don't know if. I don't know. It's some stat musing there. Steph, Kawhi, LeBron, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant. He's at the top of that list of uh, plus minus net rating. So some some news for you. Some Warriors news. Number one. Uh, so it's halftime, and that's at the fifty-two mark. Warriors news, uh, sort of. Bielitsa, uh will not return to his Fenerbahce team in Turkey. Um, this is according to the GM of that squad. So that makes you kind of go, hmm. So Bielitsa might be available. Another piece of news. Um, Clay had a funny moment at the Anta headquarters with a statue of Thanos. So let's take a look at that because that's ridiculous. This, by the way, is Clay on the airplane doing a Q&A. <laughs> So let's pause that for a sec. Let's go over to, uh, what's this, Wavo? No, that's FIBA. Okay, so um, let's go to uh, twitter.com, warriors underscore JP. Here's Clay. Who has Thanos in here? I'm trying to get five rings like Thanos. Did you see that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five affinities. Yeah, but technically six, but we don't count that. Nice. Nice, TJ. So uh, that was hilarious. Like, Clay goes, Thanos has five rings. It actually, he's got six gems on his uh, gauntlet. And so I guess the anti guy, TJ, pointed it out and uh, threw Clay for a loop right there. Um, so just random news. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Andre Iguodala had Coach Kerr on his podcast recently. And he talked about how during the pre-draft workout with the Warriors, Steve said 
that, uh, hey, this isn't good enough for the NBA. This workout that you're having isn't great. It's not good enough for the NBA, but here's what I think you need to do to improve. And he gave some tips to Anthony Edwards. And Anthony Edwards, um, after he dropped 50 points on the Warriors, if you remember that, he went up to Steve and he said, hey, thanks for giving me those tips. And, and Steve jokingly responded, and this is in Andre Iguodala's Point Forward podcast, he jokingly responded that uh, if I knew you'd scored 50 off of uh, on us after I told you um, what I told you at the pre-draft workout, I wouldn't have told you what I told you, wouldn't have given you my advice. So kind of funny. All right, so Steve Kerr on Andre Iguodala's podcast. Go check that out. What else? Jason Richardson, J. Rich, had a 360 at the big three. So go Google that. Uh, Big three has a contract with CBS, so I can't show the highlight. But go check that on CBS Sports Twitter account. Jason Richardson with a 360 dunk in the big three. Thing is, is I I played that clip a couple times and I'm like, how do you get a 360 dunk in a half court game, three on three? Well, they doubled the guy that was apparently a three point threat and then he dumped it off to Jay Rich and then the other guy just didn't do anything. He didn't respond. He didn't react to that play and he let Jay Rich go in and do a 360 in a half court game. What else we got? Uh, uh, Brandon Pajemski. Brandon Pajemski uh, retweeted a tweet about Clay. And it was from Warriors Muse. So uh, Brandon Pajemski follows or checks out the tweets of Warriors Muse, which is kind of funny. Um, As we wait for halftime to end, what else can we talk about? Um, Got some photos of... Looney and Clay. So what happened was they landed at the airport. They had a a pre-planned airport entrance for all the fans to do the autographs and stuff. And uh, so they, they, so it started out with them going from LAX to Xiamen, China. Um, I found someone who sat near, um clay um that was on instagram and uh, so they got a clip of clay uh walking in the airport in shaman right after they landed so he was still wearing his blue shirt so what happened was uh they went and had a little bit of a rest they changed and then they came out to the crowd and did all the autographs and everything, as you can see in our video over here, which I will continue. See, he's got the blue shirt on. That will change into a white T-shirt later. Same thing with Looney. Looney was wearing something else and then um, was wearing something different per the video. And this is the one that the passenger shot. Now they're at the baggage claim, and then then they're going to go to a spot rest up, change, and then go sign autographs. And then after that, they went to Anta's headquarters to do a family day with all of the Anta employees, which I thought was very smart of them to do. Very, um, you know, long overdue because China Clay has become 
something else nowadays. And for China Clay to to visit you guys, uh, visit China. Why not? Why not just have a day where they're visiting us, uh, the uh, the apparel brand that's making them famous in China. And I'll, I'll say once again, don't forget, go look it up. The market capitalization of Anta is about 30 billion. It dwarfs Under Armour. So Anta is a bigger company than Under Armour. Not a lot of people know that. So I uh, just wanted to point that out um, at the one hour mark. So that's the latest on Anta and China Clay. Okay. We're about to start the third quarter any moment now. Um, there's my guy, Felice. I like Felice. Baby Dumars. It's like a six foot version of Dumars. Joe Dumars. So we're about to start the second half. I'll let the clay video go in the background. You can see. Um, today he dunked, Clay dunked. He also um, won a shooting contest. Um, I'm, I'm listening to the announcer talk about the Italy head coach being ejected. Apparently they win a lot of games when he's been ejected. Let me skip this ad. Keep rolling that uh, Clay, Clay and Looney Airport video until we get the third quarter started here. Meanwhile, let's check in on what the score is over at... Uh, Oh, excuse me. Over with Australia versus Germany. Playing now. Oh, it's on ESPN, guys. You can check that out. And this game's on ESPN Plus, I guess. I'm not sure, but you guys go check that out. Could be on your ESPN. You never know. But um, Australia against Germany, really good matchup. See, Germany's beating Australia. And to me, that's a surprise because Australia's got one of the best backcourts with uh, Giddy and Patty Mills. All right. Let's see if Quinones starts. Nope. Quinones is not starting. 103.30 mark. Traveling on cat right away, man. Lester's on the bench. He's in a doghouse. Lester Quinones in the doghouse. He's like over his last six. Wow. Minus 12. In fact. Well, Italy with a three-pointer, no good. Phillies over to Cat. Cat left open for three. Deep three, good. You got to go out on that. Quinones claps on the bench. Dominican Republic up by two. We got 9.15 to go. And point guard for Italy misses the end one, but he got fouled by Montero. So I guess we really don't have a whole lot of people on tonight. <laughs> this is uh, probably not the best time to go live, I suppose. It's way too early for the East Coast. 
and um, way late for the West Coast, and probably too early in the Far East in terms of it being like 4.30 p.m. tip off. I don't know. It's Sunday over there, though, right? Is it Sunday? Yeah. Still Sunday. Cat with the offensive rebound. Good. Might have been a foul, too, but um, good job by Cat. And the Dominican coach goes to yell at his own bench to, you know, transfer that energy over to the bench. Dean Chambers in the house. It's me, Dean, five other people <laughs> barely staying awake here. Five other people across the world trying to hang in there. But, you know, unfortunately, Lester is non-factor. Feliz baby Dumars, I told you. At the shot clock buzzer, three-pointer. The guy has six threes. I love this guy. Feliz. Andres Feliz. Oh, Italy answers with the three. It's Tonut. What a name. Tonut. Stefano Tonu probably is how he's pronouncing it. I'm not sure, but he should definitely do an endorsement deal with uh, Dunkin' Donuts. But uh, Feliz misses, somehow gets his own rebound. Cat in the corner, one on one versus Melly. Fouled. Melly can't believe it in the classic European uh, response of that's what you do if you're if you're uh, if you play Euro League and you argue a call. It's basically like this. Unlike you know. The American AAU way is like LeBron to kind of just give the ref a condemning look. Anyways, Cat finds Lee's in the corner. What a pass. Lee's hits a splash. Right corner three. Dominican up by five. This is really not expected. But you also didn't expect Italy's head coach to get ejected. Oh, foul on Cat. Are they going to call it Tech? Because <laughs> he swiped at the ball after the whistle. And then at least he went, oh, no, I didn't mean anything. Like, that, that's good. <laughs> it could be a technical. Are they going to? They're going to decide on this. They're going to deliberate. Did they call a tech on cat or not? Remember, cat has been ejected just a week ago against Spain. He hasn't always been on the good side with refs, and he gets away with it this time. No technical for the extra swipe after the whistle. Fontecchio misses a three. Cat with his eighth rebound, no, his ninth rebound, and he has four assists. Man, he's filling up that stat sheet tonight, and they need him. They need him to do that. Um, he didn't really have that type of a game against the Philippines, but that game was marred by 51 fouls and 32 turnovers, as I mentioned. Lees, who hit from the corner last time, Misses, and uh, but it's uh, Delgado with the OG rebound put back and one, and Quinones cheers for him from the bench. So it's good to see the young fella, Quinones, not, you know, feel sorry for himself on the bench and really just contribute to the energy. And it was the Italian point guard had no choice but to try to hack Delgado because Delgado's got about 50 pounds and – four to six inches on the Italian point guard. So Italy's got to call a timeout. Dominican Republic up by seven with another free throw coming up. That's pretty shocking. Yeah, this, this is a good time to ask me questions, even though there's, there's really 
not a ton to talk about. I've, I've typed in some comments into the description, some notes into the description about what we've been talking about with the Warriors, uh, just um, kind of trivial information. I can give you a, a minute by minute uh, account of what's happening what's happening in China with clay uh, let me check real quick because <laughs> uh, I can just look at some Weibo accounts check it out there uh, let's see uh not a whole lot other than what I already told you, which was um, him dunking. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to report from China. All right. The N1 is good. Dominican up by eight. Still no Lester Quinones. I, I, I think he's just kind of in the doghouse. Cat with a foul. Fontecchio draws it. Cat leaves his arms up in protest to say that I did not bump him, but I think the ref uh, or the replay will probably show that he did bump Simone. Yeah, he went up to jump and challenge the shot and just ended up bumping Simone Fontecchio on the hip. And uh, that is three fouls. That's of concern with 6.17 to go in the third quarter. Um, Fontecchio misses the second free throw. Wow. Dominican Republic up by seven. Cat in the corner. Attacks, and they call a charge. You know, it's very NCAA like. Like they'll anything that looks like a charge is a charge. You have to sub him out now. Is that no? That's his third. So I looked ahead. The box score was already updated. <laughs> so we picked up the second and his third. So that's not his fourth. My bad. Yeah, shoulder draw uh, drove into. One of the Italy big men. Was that Ricci? No, that wasn't Ricci. That was uh... oh, Italy point guard. Misses another shot. Sorry to yawn at you, but uh, Cat picks up another rebound. That's his 10th at a minimum, 10 rebounds. One of these guys, probably Polinara. I think that was all 6'8, six, 6'9. Six, Feliz with another three. Poor man's Joe Dumars, seven threes and one assist cat. Assist has uh, assist five for cat. 15, 10, and five. Amazing. Feliz is seven for 10. No, he's six for eight on threes. My bad. I'm looking at this box score the American way, which is they usually show. Um, three pointers. No, no, actually, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but they got the two pointer uh, column here is throwing me off. Six for eight on threes. Bottom line for Felice. <sighs> so, anyways. Dominican Republic up by 10. Just up by seven, now 10, thanks to the three. And you got an and one. Feliz misses it. So, Italy point guard, what's he doing? He's shooting a lot lately. He uh, misses the two pointer. Cap got another rebound? No, that was the other guy. Montero and Delgado. Pick and roll, Delgado, good. The Dominican coach is just elated. He's very emotional. 
Very fiery. <laughs> you like that though. It's got a lot of passion. Italy misses. Oh, another jump shot. They love shooting the two point jump shot. Italy's pretty solid. I mean, six eight, six nine guys across the board shooting jump shots. But if they're not hitting their jump shots, you know, they're very one dimensional. So they're good, but then again, they're vulnerable. Like USA would probably beat them by 20, you know, because we got the speed and we got the size and athleticism to overcome that stuff. Cat does a good job of getting rid of the ball before the charge. Delgado gets an offensive rebound on the air ball. Just like Bob Fitzgerald would say if he were announcing this one, air ball goes to, to the offense. Italy now down by 14. It's shocking. But Fontecchio with the clutch three to finally break the silence. Italy hadn't scored in a while. Dominican up by 11. It's good to see, man. They're, they're playing well, and they're executing and getting the ball to the right guys and rebounding all game long. Cat, catch and shoot. Three ball, good. Wow. Cat is having a ball game. 18 points, 10 rebounds. Fontecchio draws a foul on the smaller guard. And that's been the problem all game long is they're undersized. That's the fourth team foul. So Italy in the bonus. Quinones on the replay still rooting for his team. Good to see. Oh, no, the bonus is now. Fontecchio at the line. So we got a dead ball, and uh, Fontecchio can cut it to 12 right here. 3.43 to go in the third. It's good. So Montero will walk the ball up. Still no Lester Quinones. Italy in a zone. Two are really a 1-3-1 zone. Interesting. Montero gets the ball. Pops, no good. Cat crashes, but they get uh, Italy gets the ball. Now they run a fast break, and Melly gets a dunk. Good lead pass to Melly. Bad transition defense by the DR. Only a 10-point deficit. It had ballooned to 14 just a minute ago. So now against the 1-3-1 one, one zone or diamond zone, they're able to find Delgado wide open, but he blows the layup, which is odd because he'd hit the last couple. One of them was an and one, and he just blew that one. Now Italy is getting downhill. Pick and roll. Fontecchio finds the roll. DR coach um, stubbornly does not call timeout, but it might be a good move just to stay calm, like not worried about this. Calls out a play to go against this zone. It's a matchup zone. I like it. I like it. It's a good look. You don't really see a lot of openings. And Fontecchio, dumb foul at the shot clock buzzer. He hip-checked Montero, the guard, and that's a that's just a that's just a mistake that that Italy will have to uh, get past. But uh, man, that that's a momentum breaker because they could have been coming down the court down eight, cut it to six or five. Instead, it's still at eight. Side out for Dr. And both teams now in the penalty. Let's see if uh, Kenyonas checks in right here. Nope, we got a timeout. DR calls timeout. They kind of need it. Look at that. Look at the score. 62-54. Okay, never mind. I thought they went on the scoring drought, but actually since the last timeout, as you can see in the comments, 
they have outscored them. Well, they've gotten it up to 14, and then now it went back down to 8. It went from 7 to 14, now back down to 8. Mariah. Oh, that reminds me. We could talk 49ers, too. But, of course, all around the world, don't know if there's any other Niners fans tuned in right now. There's only a handful of us. Um, probably only going to get a couple hundred views or 500 views on this. Normally, we get at least, you know, at least a thousand, even though. Lester Quinones is not the most popular warrior on the planet. In fact, he's the, uh, what, 15th most popular warrior right now. Um, active warrior. So I think we're still doing pretty well considering we're getting a thousand views every Quinones stream. And then Lester's not even playing in this game all that much. Oh, Feliz pulls up from three. How can they leave him open? That's seven threes from my guy, Baby Dumars. Yes, I did give him the Dumars comp before he hit these seven threes. So credit to me. No, just kidding. Uh, anyways, um, Italy loses the ball. How many turnovers does Italy have? They are coughing it up. Five turnovers. Actually, that's not that bad. Um, but Italy has kind of got stagnant offense. They just don't really have any uh, athleticism slash talent out there. A bunch of six, seven, six, eight, six, nine guys. And Dominican Republic got a foul. Here's their uh, other OG looking center. Misses a free throw, though. How many missed free throws do they have? Oh, uh, they're not bad. 10 for 13. That's not bad. And he hits that one. So they're now up by 12, as you can see in the box score. 140 to go. And Fontecchio. Has got the advantage. Oh, he, he did the scoop too hard. Had the uh, Solano, the guard. Solano's got to be 6 1. That's Solano. Um, Mendoza. Mendoza's probably, you know, 6 1, 6 feet. Let's check. 6 3? Oh, he doesn't look 6 3. But of course, uh, Neither does Steph Curry when he's out there. He looks really small, but all right. So whatever. Um, Vargas commits an offensive foul, posting up. He shoved his elbow in the guy's chin. So that's illegal. Gives the ball to Italy with 109 to go in the third quarter. Dominican up by 12. Italy with another jumper. 6'8 guy hits a jumper. The formula for Italy. So they're down 10, Dominican up by 10, 52 seconds, third quarter. Italy back to man to man. Shot clock winding down. Pena loves to shoot. He hits that one. Pena is like a power forward, kind of slow, but he loves getting open for that three. He loves shooting it, shot it, and uh, swish. Dominican up by 13. Italy gets a three. No, missed it. Pena against uh, Palandra for the rebound contest goes out of bounds. It's Italy's ball, baseline, 22.2 to go. And we'll get the top Niners at the break in 22 seconds. Talk about Trey Lance. Oh, Italy, backcourt violation. Man, that's unforced, even though DR did a good job of uh, giving pressure. Assistant coach goes up to the Dominican coach and says, hey, you should sub in somebody. And I'm wondering if it's Lester. 
Probably not. I didn't, I didn't see that. It, oh, it is. Hey, good job getting Lester in. 17 seconds left, finally. Oh, my gosh. That took forever. <laughs> Subs in for the last shot. He's on the weak side. And it's going to be Mendoza one-on-one -on -one right side. Bye-bye. Throws the ball away. Come on. Well, Lester's got to get open in that case. Simone for three off the backboard. Lester also off the backboard after the buzzer taking a practice shot. So uh, DOM goes into the third, uh, goes into the final frame up by 13. Is their game to lose? Dean with some uh, Italian. So, uh, so what do you think about the whole Trey Lance thing? You know what was cool yesterday, Mariah, was that I left uh, CBS uh, KPIX on to watch the post-game interviews. And um, I thought Kyle Shanahan was pretty damn awesome up there on the podium explaining every little detail, being, you know, very gracious with his time to explain all of it and – the thing that frustrates me that I see a lot on Twitter, mainly through a Tim Kawakami, all these like casual, angry fans. It's like, you know, they they did what they did for Trey Lance, like all this stuff was to keep it real with. Trey Lance. It was to honor his contributions, though limited, to the team, his attitude towards teammates and to, uh, to his teammates. And Kyle was like, Trey Lance even apologized. And it's like, bro, it's not your fault. And uh, it, it, it reminds me a lot of the James Wiseman situation, right? You know, I mean, he got injured twice. What are you going to do? It's nobody's fault. So the people out there that always want to assign blame to stuff, it's just, you know, sometimes it's just life. <laughs> Look at Cat. He's going up to the TV camera during the timeout going like this. Dominica. Anyway, so that's my little rant on Trey Lance. And parallels to uh, James Wiseman. So there's, there's no need to be outraged at everything as apps like Twitter want you to do. Um, shit happens in life. And uh, enough of the woe is me or I deserve this or I'm entitled to that. Lester is out of the game as they start the fourth quarter. Oh, man, he's in the doghouse, man. That sucks. Oh, barely getting enough playing time. So, unless you want to keep talking about Lance. Uh, oh, Mariah has some comments. We'll come back to them. Uh, Dominican Republic with Cat on the bench. As you should give him a rest and then just bring him in with seven minutes to close it out or six. You're up by 13. Figure maybe five. No. Oh, Vargas with the putback. Uh, offensive goaltending in the NBA, but FIBA, okay. You can do that. And uh, hopefully they gave the points to Vargas. Pretty sure they did. Three points. Yeah, because Mendoza is still at zero points. Um, Italy answers, so still 13-point lead for DR. They're going to drop to their 2-3 zone, Italy. Yep. And it's a very high 2-3 zone because Vargas is playing the high post at the free throw line. But it doesn't matter because um, Lees throws the ball away. 
Well, that's an unforced error. Italy's going to walk it up. They have no speed at all. That's the problem when you get a whole team of six, eight guys, six, nine guys. And Italy launches a three from deep. It's about 30 feet away. No good. And uh, Mendoza, Montero, my bad. I keep messing up Montero and Mendoza. Calls out number two. So against the zone, well, they're in a the matchup zone, so they're, now they're in man. Um, good tap by Vargas on the long three rebound. So DR is content to just kill some clock as they work on it. And Feliz finds Lees. Man, Feliz has been good today. He's got 24, 5, and 5. Him and Cat, really good games. Italy drives, gets a foul call. So I hope that it, I hate that it was the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Lester, sort of in the doghouse, if you will. But I mean, but whatever the head coach of DR is doing, it's working because they're up by 14 on Italy, which is a pretty solid team. They look pretty veteran. You know, they don't really have anybody that looks like they're wet behind the ears. Most of the guys have, you know, grown man beards and everything. So I'm going to guess these guys have a lot of experience in international play. Could be wrong, but they play very patiently. If limited, it's it's patient ball. So they've got that versus, you know, we watched the Philippines against Dominican Republic the other night, and the Philippines, they don't have a game plan. Like, it's uh, give the ball to Jordan Clarkson and hope for the best, whereas Italy runs some offense. And it's going to be Feliz late in the shot clock. Pena has to shoot a desperation three from the corner, which he loves. He loves to shoot. Missed it. Cat tried to get the rebound, but no. Italy brings it up. Pretty good defense by uh, uh, Montero. As he gets the guy stuck. Now they're late in the shot clock. Now 33 has to launch another 30-footer. The lefty misses. No good. What's his name? Um, they're struggling from three. Four for 21. 33 is Polonera. And they got Simone Fontecchio and Melli on the bench. So saving them up for the stretch run as we only have 6.15 to go. You figure you got to bring those two in pretty soon. Those two former uh, – no, not former. But one's a former NBA player. That's Melli. Fontecchio – plays for the Utah Jazz. And they're on the bench right now. They launch another three, Italy does, late in the clock. It's no good. Short again. And Feliz brings it up. They got three guards out there with Cat uh, and Pena. They work it around to Mendoza. Three, two. He's got to launch a three. Gets it at the shot clock buzzer. That's a backbreaker against Italy. The head coach goes nuts. He's got a lot of passion. He's very happy. Um, so it's a timeout for Italy. And uh, Italy's in trouble. Incredibly, Dominican Republic up by 17 with 5.33 to go. I would have never guessed that. Good for you, Dominican Republic. And hey, we, we chose a good team to follow. Um, but it's our guy, Lester. Uh, we would follow Brazil more as well. But the problem is Guy doesn't play. Matter of fact, why don't we go look up some Brazil stats and just check it out. 
There it is. Man, they beat Iran by 41. So let's see if Guy got some minutes. Box score. Maybe Guy got some burn against Iran. Guy Santos, 14 minutes. 14 minutes, uh, four, four, and three. Hey, not bad, Guy. Way to go, Guy. So, uh, Guy Santos, four, four, three versus Iran. They won by 41 two nights ago. But he's usually, maybe he was the, the one, two, we don't know when he when he checked in, but usually he's the twelfth man. We're back to action. Uh, there's a foul on the DR. Oh, check this out. Germany up by four. I'll switch over to that game after this one's over with. But there's not going to be a lot of time left. I still want to see Leicester play, even if it's garbage time. Italy finally hits a three. What, they're five for 22 on threes? Let's go back to this box score, which is right here. Oh, poor Leicester. Anyways, Italy back to man-to-man. -man. Cap there to do some pick and roll. As uh, number four comes in from Solano. Cat with the one-legged fadeaway. Late shot clock, no good. But there's only 4.45 left. Italy's in trouble, down 14. Fontecchio misses a corner three that was open. They needed that one. They needed that one for, you know, a mathematical chance. Missed it. Down 14, 4.30 to go. Doesn't look good for Italy. So pick and roll for Cat. And he lays it in as he gets the feed from... Mendoza. I mean, Montero. <laughs> oh, gosh. Montero has seven assists, six rebounds. Done a really good job of rebounding and assisting today. Jump hook for Melly. As I mentioned, Melly and Fontecchio check back in. But it's going to be too little too late. Dominican up 14. They don't even need to play the LJ. They don't need to play LJ. They don't need to play Quinones. Um, Cat just shot an air ball, but he claims he was fouled. And the the substitute Italian coach wanted a technical on Cat for flopping. <laughs> uh, the head coach does this. What does that mean? Oh, that's a challenge? What does that mean? I think that means that we're challenging the non-call. Oh, yeah. He got fouled. Cat got fouled. Super obvious. Doesn't even look like the ref was looking at the play. Oh, God. This is a bad look for FIBA, man. That is definitely a foul. This is the signal for challenging a call. Interesting. It's like, go look at the LCD screen. Interesting. I didn't know that. We learned something tonight. The hand signal for challenging a non-call, really. I guess you can, you can challenge non-calls in FIBA. Challenge a non call and change it into a call. That's weird. Oh, never mind. You can't challenge. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. There's no call to challenge. That's a no call. Oh, I see. They wanted to challenge the possession of the ball to maybe get the air ball changed to a block. 
block shot. Oh well, so they looked at the replay. They realized that it was a foul, but it wasn't called. So it's effectively an air ball. Wow, Ricci was wide open on the back door. They, instead, they went to Fontecchio for three, which I guess when you're down 14 with 3.33 to go, I don't know. I think he had to hit, hit the open man for the layup and get the two free points. Uh, but... It'll be, uh, oh, LJ Figueroa now checking in for some defense to close out. Cat does a good job to disrupt and hit the ball off the backboard to himself for another rebound. That should give him 11 rebounds. He needs uh, five more assists for a triple-double. Probably not going to happen. But uh, only three 11 left. LJ bad pass. Italy three on one fast break. Bucket good. Nice behind the back by the point guard, Spisu. You know, number seven on Italy who just scored the layup looks familiar. No, I don't know him. Stefano Tonit. Not Donut, Tonit. Now Ricci fouls Cat. Hope they call that correctly. But maybe Cat. Was too physical with them to start out. I'm not sure, but they definitely got Melly for the physicality, and he's fouled out, by the way. Melly's going to sit. Former Dallas Maverick and New Orleans Pelican. Now has five fouls. His night is over. Quinones will stay on the bench with 2.45 to go in the game. It's a wrap pretty much, but I'm going to go to the buzzer then switch over to the Australia-Germany game. Now they got a foul away from the ball. Yeah. Is that the same thing in FIBA? Cat is checking the rules with the ref. It should be, if it was the NBA, it would be off-ball technical. Yeah, he got forearmed in the chest. And then now he gets hard fouled. And uh, what's his name? Polinara has lost it. He uh, hard fouled Cat, I think. They, they came back. The camera, um, it, it was a quick play. Going to be uh, unsportsmanlike, which is sort of the equivalent of the NBA flagrant. But Cat, huge man, you know, taller than Polinara by a little bit, unaffected by that that uh, hard foul, and so they're going to review for this unsportsmanlike, and we're going to check the Australia. Australia has taken a four-point lead with 117 to go. So that one's going to finish before I get a chance to see it. Maybe I'll uh, run it on a second screen over here. Let me run it over here. Yeah. Courtside 1890. Let's see if I'm logged in over here. Oh, yeah. Game Center. It might be on ESPN. By the way, I'm going to peek in on Australia versus uh, Cat got a three to put a nail in the coffin. Oops, I got a lot in over here. Reach the answers, but too little, too late. Maybe just play for a point differential at this point. They get another steal, and it's a foul.
All right, so I got to get through this advertisement with the Australia game. And I'll peek into that game, give you an idea of what's happening. Obviously, it's 63-59 Australia. You can see it for yourself right there. See what happens. Is that Dante Exum? Who is that guy? Nah. Well, he just drew a foul. I don't see Dennis Schroeder. Hmm. Wonder why. Did he foul out? They're showing Patty Mills on the bench. Australia up by four with 53 seconds to go. Anyways, over here, Dominican. Pick and roll with Cat. Only 147 to go. Kickball by Italy. See, is that Exum? Oh, well. I see Josh Giddy. Um, they're up by six as he made both free throws. And that's the uh, Australia game. Back to Dominican Republic. They just It's just a, a matter of time. Just uh, got to not turn the ball over. Which Lee's almost does. Almost turns it over. Anyways, there's Dennis Schroeder. Oh, somebody hit a three for Germany. Probably Schroeder. No, no, it's not Schroeder. He's on the bench. They showed Schroeder. Say that ten times fast. They showed Schroeder on the bench. But it was... Uh, Lou hit a three there, uh... Shooting guard, nice three ball. Anyways, that's a close game. 22.8, Germany down three. Dennis Schroeder checks back in. I wonder if he has four fouls. Maybe that's why. So I could check. Quick box score. Well, Dominican's going to win this up by 12, 132 to go. Let's check Schroeder. Schroeder with 23 points, five assists, three steals, one foul. Why the heck was he out for that play? Anyways, Australia hits one out of two free throws. They're up by four. Ooh, that's pretty exciting. 17 seconds. Germany down four. Why are you not going faster than this? You're down four. Does he know they're down four? Schroeder, uh, seven, six. Now he shoots a three. Back rim, no good. Australia should win. They win. Got the rebound and uh, wow. That's, that's not how you play basketball down four with 15 seconds left. So Australia wins. Meanwhile, Dominican Republic just needs to close out another minute 20. Ricci for three over a cat on the catch. It's good. They're only down nine, actually. Oh, okay. It would take a miracle, and uh, Dominican Republic would have to do some wild things. Oh, guess what? They just did a wild thing, threw the ball away. But then Italy th lost the ball to Lee's and he hits a layup. Oh, well, <laughs> that was their one chance. Oh, wait, Spisa gets fouled on the three. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, that just exacerbates the, the previous turnover. So now they're going to be down possibly seven. That's a good, good shot by the Italy point guard, and then he twisted his body to draw a foul. Three and one. And so let's go back to this game, our game, Dominican. Well, 55 seconds to go. 
Italy at the line. They're down eight, could be seven. They're down seven. You just you just gotta inbound the ball, not throw the ball away and get fouled. I mean, you're up seven. They have to foul and they do foul. They foul cap, but it's their fourth team foul. So one more to go. My stream almost died right there. 55.2. DR up seven. They try to get Cat open in the middle because he's the biggest guy in the court. Good mobility by Cat to get open there. Now they're not going to foul. They double him, but Feliz gets the ball to the open guy. So they're just playing keep away. Feliz wide open. Dagger three misses. Uh-oh, Italy downhill. They, they don't cover the point guard. And they're going to call goaltending on Cat. He missed the layup. Wait a minute. Replay that. That's goaltending. Oh, maybe. Because it went off the backboard and maybe Cat touched it after the backboard. But, man, uh, I'm okay. Referee's got eagle eyes from half court. Okay. I'll trust that. Whatever. They're only down five. Cat is trapped in the corner. Timeout. And they knock the ball out. And Cat's like, yo, I got hit in the face everywhere. No call. Got lucky because the ball went off. Looked like it went off his leg, but they said off on uh, Italy. Uh, 25.2 to go. <laughs> this is a case of where it'd be nice to have a Lester Quinones who is in rhythm to come in and, and just handle the ball. But he's cold. He's only played eight minutes. I would be shocked if the sub Quinones in right now because he's cold as ice. Therefore, the other guys just have to close this game out. They deserve it. They were up 14 all game. He, he's saying Andres, Feliz. He wants Feliz to get the ball. They are showing the huddle, but... Uh, now they, they're showing a fan who's dancing around with the Dominican Republic flag, so we won't get a chance to overhear what strategy the uh, Dominican coach has got in store here. It shouldn't even be this close, but okay. DR is going to have to figure out a way to get the ball in. Hell of a game for Felice. Someone has to step up every game alongside Cat. And he did. So give him credit. All right. Oh, excuse me. Well, uh, Quinones has subbed in and he fouls a guy. What are you doing? God, less. Oh, my gosh. This is an absolute nightmare game for Lester Quinones. He rams into a guy, and it's a it's an offensive foul. Good Lord. My God. And Lester goes over, he gets subbed out. He goes over to apologize to the ref, uh, to the coach. And the coach says, just shrugs. Oh my gosh. Man, will this put Lester 
even deeper in the doghouse and then they end up fouling it's a just lees was off balance and he fouled the italian point guard 19.7 to go i should have got my other chair this chair is super duper uncomfortable oh god my butt hurts ouch um where's quinones on the show the bench again the dominican bench is just Kind of in disarray a bit. <laughs> They're all scattered, kind of. And uh, where's Lester? I don't see Lester on the bench. He made it. Oh, man. There he is. Okay. Thank God. Well, um, does this mean will Lester be even further in the doghouse now? Oh, gosh. I mean, what are you going to do? You, you, you. As I mentioned, I was shocked that Lester came in, but he's been cold the whole game. You haven't even been playing him. I mean, what do you expect? And they, they bring him in again, foul him late, so Lester's going to get a chance to score a point. Wow, way to trust him to go back to him. Interesting. Lester at the line, hits it. Wow. Coach Garcia. Lester misses the second one. Oh, my God. They're only... Oh, they're going to call lane violation and then the typical European response. I don't know. I'd, I'd need to see a replay. Lester gets to take the second shot over. No, that's not. That is that is not lane violation. My God, these refs suck. Oh, my God. He pauses at the line and switches it. And that might have been lane violation, but on Italy. Oh, man. Way to go, Lester. Oh, gosh. Tough game for him. But he came in to do his job, which is get to the line, make your free throws, and close out the game. Does he get the benefit to stay in the game with 17 seconds to go? And I don't see him there. Let's see. Nope. Lester came out. So, subbed out. But Italy is running out of time, and their squad is too slow to uh, move the ball around better. Shooting a couple desperation threes, that's not going to matter. Being down five, and Dominican Republic wins. All right, that's it. So Dom wins 87-82 final. Uh, they're 2-0 and with uh, a game versus Angola remaining in pool play. Dean's got a question. Is Cap playing with everyone speaking Spanish? Ooh. I'm not sure. I don't know. Wasn't able to hear audio very well. Well, the next live to be determined um, maybe a week from now. Either Dominican Republic, as it says in the description right now, or Team USA at some point. We'll get back to Team USA.
And so I'm going to check Weibo for the latest and greatest on Clay Thompson after I log out right here. And um, hopefully by tomorrow I'll have some updates on that. But I'm thinking I want to I want to wait until Clay gets at least to Manila in a couple days um, before there's a new video because I want to have some variety on the channel rather than, you know, 14 minutes of Clay, then another 10 minutes of Clay, then another 10. I'm not sure I want to do that. Of course, it's Clay and Looney, but, uh, but we'll see. And um, I've still got um, a video of CP3, Draymond, and a compilation that contains Steph, GP2, uh, doing autographs at his uh, fan autograph event. And uh, there's a Looney fan event. There's a Brandon Pajemski first pitch at the Giants. There's Looney first pitch at, at Milwaukee. There's uh, random Guy Santos stuff, uh, Guy Santos and Lester uh, for the true diehards. So there's still a lot on my plate. And I'm just, I'm not sure I want to just go clay, clay, clay for the next three days. You know what I'm saying? So we'll add a little variety on the channel. Um, but um, there will be some new clay content happening probably as we speak right now. So just know that my coverage of it will probably be a couple days late, but that's okay. Um, pretty soon we're going to have a daily thing available for people, whether that's on threads or discord or both. The discord will be pretty much by the minute and tons and tons, whereas threads will be yeah, three, four times a day. Not, you know, not the fire hose of new content coming in. That will be more for subscribers of the website, which costs $5 a month, but you get the Discord along with it. Um, threads and YouTube community will be equivalent. Those are free, so you get less. Um, but that's the new strategy going in to next week. So I'll see you back here in about a week. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night, Dean and Catherine and everybody else. Hope uh, Utah, Watsonabe, and Rui Hachimura are doing well for Japan, who are playing in Japan, but hope that they have, you know, win at least one game out there for your home country. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the community page maybe on Instagram, maybe threads pretty soon and our website. And don't forget to go check out the rest of Clay signing autographs and whatnot on our YouTube channel right here. All right. Bye-bye. Good night, Mariah. Oh yeah. Mariah, we got to wait two more weeks before uh, Niners at Steelers, but oh my gosh, we're definitely not going to go live. Um, when the Niners and Steelers play. So there's that for sure. Bye-bye.